planning is just ingrained in our culture. I mean, we know going into a job, we have a we have a plan of this is how we're going to do it. And does it always work out like that? Absolutely not. I mean, things change all the time. What, what we were building was a concrete plant for producing and manufacturing concrete. The building itself was, was pretty, you know, cut and dry. This is what it is. To me, the most difficult part was how do we make sure this equipment that's getting made while we're building the job is gonna fit into this building. The building was gonna be, for the most part, done before the equipment got there. So we were gonna be installing equipment, fishing it through and, and getting it through the steel frame. The biggest thing was probably the big drum. The concrete mixer drum is a tilt mixer. It um, pre-mixes the concrete and then the whole thing lifts up and dumps it. Our plan all along was to essentially leave the entire roof off in that area, set that drum, and then we'd build the roof over the top of it afterwards. The manufacturer had a, a problem with the mixer when they were building it, and they had uh, a delay. So then it's like, well, it's not coming for another week, so we're like, all right, well, let's hold off on this roof, you know, a little longer. At some point, we just got to get this roof on. We got to figure out a different way to get this to get this drum into this building. Whenever you have a problem, if you ever come out on it better, it's a good thing. Well, essentially, what we did is would be comparable to like fishing through through a hole. If the roof of the structure is the ice of the lake, we put our our crane rigging. Let's call that the fishing line. We lowered that through the hole in the roof, like you'd lower a fishing line into into a hole in the ice. You know, hooked it up to the drum, so let's call that the fish, picked it up, slid it over on top of the concrete foundation, pulled the line back out through the hole. And they have to be very, very precise because when you bring down the mixer, it's like 45,000 pounds. And uh, when you bring that in with a crane, it's got to fit these anchor bolts precisely. When all said and done, they hit it perfectly. No nothing seemed to be too big of a challenge for him. It was a bigger undertaking than we had ever done before. That's successful. From my standpoint, just getting a darn plant done on time was successful.